Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the Collective of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, Cross Watchers. For those of you who are new to the channel, happy you landed here. Don't hesitate to come into the comments. Say hi. I will reply later on today. I'm going to pull from Archangel Michael's Sword of Light Oracle to activate the reading. Let's see what message comes through for you today. Card number one, all is in perfect timing says this is it it's time to take action now i will be there to help you every step of the way wow a all in perfect timing feels very much like the wheel of fortune the time is now uh, all the planets are aligned in your favor and helping you every step of the way yeah it's um one foot in front of the other when we're taking action and the planets are aligned and we feel it's time um it's just about making very well calculated steps so let's see if this reading gives you any idea of what those steps might be <clears throat> here we go tower well, a tower is Mars. Mars is the planet of embodied action, rules the sign of Aries. But Mars can also be a wake-up call. I mean, Mars. The tower can be a wake-up call. Let's see what's coming in to cross that. The Ten of Pentacles. So it feels to me like this is about the future. Life partnership, building a life with someone, or at least taking those first steps towards something more long-term, more long-lasting, right? Um, and as the challenge, as what's crossing you here, is it's like you're getting all the signs, <laughs> you know? Um, and the ground is starting to quake beneath your feet. And the time is now and the time is right, and this is like a now or never proposition. For you or your person, remember these readings can come through reversed, especially if you're a cross watcher. Six of Wands in your unconscious awareness. The Six of Wands talks about, um, you know, a, a, a triumphant return, um, a, a reconciling, making peace, um, forging alliances, meeting in the middle, compromising, negotiating. It's very much about through the storm or the battle, um, you know, we, we arrive at a, a, a common ground moment where we can sort of um, forge a win-win outcome. So that's rolling around in your unconscious awareness in the past temperance. But of course, you've had the patience of a saint and temperance has been your guide. Temperance is about self-control and restraint. So you've obviously been holding back and holding back and kind of going with the flow and waiting to see how the energies unfold. And now we have the um, chariot. So it is go time. It is go time. I couldn't be happier for you, Aquarius, because I feel like there's something, or whoever you are watching, so I feel like there's something you've waited for. And now when it comes to the future and the long-term nature of your connection or any connection, you're starting to get that sense of, oh, I better act. Let's pick up the pace. They better act. Let's get things moving. Let's have the will to make some forward motion, some progress in this situation. Lovely, eight of wands, there it is. Communication and a back and forth, an exchange of ideas, of thoughts, um, you know, and it can be passionate because we, we're talking about, you know, long-term planning. And um, I almost feel what I'm seeing here is not necessarily an ultimatum, but the moment has arrived where if action isn't taken, it's all gonna fall apart. That's what I'm feeling from this reading. And you've been very careful and cautious and steady and patient. Um, but now it's time for like giddy up. So interesting. Let's get the clarifiers. Uh, Tower and Ten of Pentacles, please. 
Knight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, King of Cups. Um, yeah, I, I know that things, you know, the pace is, is very slow and therefore it's hard for you to get a handle on whether or not you're on the same page. Remember that what's challenging you here, what's crossing you, um, is this Ten of Pentacles, which talks about life partnership and the long haul and building a life with someone. And if things are moving very slow, it's, it's sometimes the shifts and changes are imperceptible. And with the Three of Pentacles there, it's like, are we on the same page? Are you emotionally available for this? So, and those would be your questions, not their questions to you. So I do feel that's, that's the issue is, uh, is this where we're headed? Is this where we're both invested? Um, because it feels like things have been moving at a snail's pace. Six of wands and your unconscious awareness. King of wands, the sun, ace of swords. Huh. At least for you, um, the focus it, it, with the Six of Wands is about coming through the situation successfully, negotiating your, you know, your middle ground here successfully, being happy, having this person kind of claim the happiness that you see is possible in this connection. The Ace of Swords underneath is interesting because that's sort of a gift from spirit, a gift of truth, a gift of insight. It, uh, it can be even an epiphany of sorts. Um, so I feel like it's it's rising up within you that, hey, this is what I want. What do they want? What is it going to take so that we both kind of come into um, some form of agreement, some form of um, common purpose in this connection to move us forward? So we come through whatever this situation has been about. It's a general reading, so it will be different for all of you. Um, so we can come through it successfully. The Temperance card in the past, the Fool, Ten of Wands, Judgment. You've been wanting to break free and get the relief, right? That, by the way, the Fool is uh, associated with this planet Uranus, Uranus rules um, Aquarius. So it's perfect. It's like, been patient, been going with the flow, been keeping my powder dry, I've been you know, full of self-control and restraint, but I've really wanted to bust free and just release all this tension, right? And, and the burden, I've been wanting to kind of let it all go and liberate myself from this. And here's a card of reunion, second chances, forgiveness, redemption, whatever it is for you in your situation. But I feel like you've been really kind of holding back, um, waiting for <laughs> the right timing and the time is right, right now, because we can go from this, uh, I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm going to hold back, I'm going to hold back to the ground quaking beneath our feet when we get that sense, that intuitive hit that, uh-oh, this is about to go very south, right? So that's when we sort of pick up the pace, which is where we are in our conscious awareness here, Aquarius, with the chariot. I love this. Yes. There's so much available to you if you can just pick up, move forward, make progress, get beyond any kind of turbulence here, especially if that tower for you has been a tower moment that may be impacting the future and things are moving too slow in the repair of any damage done. Yeah, you want to get beyond the turbulence. You feeling this sense of urgency to clear the air to make sure you can both get some peace of mind right because the happiness is there the opportunity for happily ever after and a long prosperous connection here is available to you look i mean it's all right here success happiness abundance it's a we can have it all kind of a reading um that is coming through from your side that you're aware we can have it all um but 
there's something that's slowing the roll here and it's very difficult to kind of make progress if one person isn't really taking any action or isn't processing information and acting upon it. And you've been patient and you've been kind of going with the flow, like I said, but now it seems like there's a need for um, this person to join you. And at least through some form of communication, Eight of Wands, Six of Wands again, Four of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Okay, so the communication's gonna be about getting to the bottom of, of um, all the guardedness. I'm feeling whoever is in this Knight of Pentacles energy is also in the Four of Pentacles energy. This is slow moving the Knight of Pentacles and there's guardedness at play, right? And I do feel with the Queen of Swords underneath, the Queen of Swords is a truth seeker, a truth teller. She's on a mission to kind of just get the facts. So there's some effort in this conversation to find the peace, first of all, the, the, the reconciliation, if that's needed for some of you, definitely. Um, for others of you, it's just something does, it just feels off. And there's some, some reason why this person is holding back or coming through as very guarded. Um, and I wanna say stuck. There's some stuck energy around this person. And I think you're, you're in this conversation, your goal should be to get to the bottom of it, right? Um, and to sort of check emotional stuff at the door because the Queen of Swords comes with no hidden agenda. That's why her hand is extended. She's like, hey, like this is a working conversation here. You know, where can we meet in the middle? Where can we forge an alliance? Where can we find our agreement? Um, where are we, um, where is the mutual investment? And at what level, at what starting level are we? Because it feels like you're ready for something much more. This person's pulling back, slowing down, uh, you know, closing off their heart chakra a bit and you're on a mission to find out what that's all about because if you're dealing with someone who's not emotionally available you're going to want that information up front that is what i'm seeing so far so um that's where things stand before i give you the astrology couple of notes i'm going to take it to the extended where i look at what's working for you in this connection what isn't working for you in this connection that can be recent that could be long ago it could be present and the opportunities like what's available to you to work with in this wonderful perfect timing um and then I'm gonna get a message from this person to you, what they want you to know, what they'd like to say, what are they picking up from you at 5D energetically, which is always very enlightening. A uh, message from spirit with some guidance, direction, where to go from here or what to be aware of. Hidden energies for your person. What's going on behind the scenes that you don't know that they might not be ready to reveal, but which could be very helpful. Um, for you. And then the outcome position is how things might unfold going forward. So the links to the extended are below. And um, while this is not a private reading, I mean, if it resonates, then the uh, extendeds could be helpful, but I do offer private readings. And so in the description box below, a little bit past the extended links, is a special offer in honor of Lion's Gate. Lion's Gate peaks on August 8th, 8 8. So um, I'm doing special readings for, for that portal. Um, you can click the link and read about it, but it's $88 off my regular rate. So if you're interested or you've been wanting a private reading, this is a very powerful portal, especially for um, Twin Flame Soulmates, Ascension. It's a manifestation portal. So check that out. It is available for the month of July and the readings will be delivered in July and August. That's what I have. If this reading has spoken to you, by all means, if you haven't already, subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> that's, that's the big ask. You're watching. That's ask number one. If you're watching, please be sure you're subscribed. That's ask number two. Um, and let's help me stay visible on this platform because if I cannot make this work, I got to go. Um, so this summer is my decision making month as to whether or not I can stay on this platform. So help me 
help you. That's <laughs> what I want to say. Okay, here we go, guys. As I said, the tower is Mars. Mars rules Aries. We've got the Knight of Pentacles is Virgo energy, King of Cups, Scorpio. We've got the King of Wands. Now we have love and passion here. Very interesting is Leo. The sun is the sun, but the sun rules the planet, rules the sign of Leo. Temperance is Sagittarian energy. As I said, the fool is Uranus, which is your ruling planet. So it's associated with Aquarius. Judgment is Pluto. Pluto rules Scorpio. Um, Chariot is Cancerian energy. The Knight of Swords is Gemini. So this is all very relevant because we came through Gemini season. We're in Cancer season now. We're moving into Leo season um, next week. So yeah, very, very present energies. Queen of Swords is Libra. That is what I have for you. I'm headed to the extended now. The links are below. I'll see you there in a second.